Hello everybody, this is Andy, and may I just say welcome to episode 23 of Multi-Block Madness. We're gonna get some stuff done in this video. I haven't been AFKing for super long. I could just go ahead and cheat in the stuff for the Chironite crystals, but um, I see no reason to upgrade our Void Miners just yet. Most of today is going to be sent, spent working on Rocket Fuel because we need to head to space. We need to head to space to get some iridium, and to get to space, we need to make rocket fuel. And we are going to need to check out, I think, nuclear engineering in order to get there. So let me, or maybe it's in rock hounding, actually. Um, it is not in rock hounding. I'm going to go into admin mode and check some stuff and see where the quest line is and even if there is a quest line. So there doesn't appear to be a process for making rocket fuel anywhere in the quest book, so we're going to have to figure it out ourselves. I have to make two things, nitro diesel and molten FLIBE salt solution of TBU fluoride fuel. TBU is a very early fuel, so this should be one of the easier ones to make. We're going to need to make molten TBU of fluoride, which is going to come from TBU and fluorine. TBU will come from melting just TBU fuel, which can be made by, um, 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 doing this with protonactium enriched thorium and we'll just put thorium in a fission neutron neut neutron irradiator uh with a steel chassis um okay I I'm gonna do the easy one first. Let's make nitro diesel. Nitro diesel is made from empowered oil and refined fuel. Refined fuel is made from naphtha and crude oil. Empowered oil is made through the normal empowering process. We need to empower some canola seeds, so we'll need to make another empower, and then, you know, throw those through an atomic reconstructor to make the crystallized seeds for here. Uh, that'll be an easy process. Let me make a pump jack real quick, and that's where we'll get the crude oil to make naphtha, and then into refined fuel. Okay, so I'm back. I'm pumping crude oil over here. I know it's getting a little cramped over here. That's just kind of how it is. The crude oil is being pumped both into this distillation tower and we'll let these things backlog because I'll need lubricant and maybe these things at some point. And then some other oil is being sent into these bad boys. It's being processed into naphtha and the naphtha is being processed into refined fuel. We're just going to backlog into 16 buckets for the moment. I'm going to fluid storage bus this this with a nice little cable that I probably don't have at the moment. Please give me one, please. And after we go ahead and do this, I'm going to set up the empowering and stuff to make the empowered oil, which will be more of, eh, it's actually not gonna be that terrible a process, but it's gonna take up a bunch of space. Okay, so here's the initial setup for empowering the reds, or uh, the, the oil thing. What I have over here is just a little atomic reconstructor making the crystallized seas, which are slowly filling up in here. What I need to do is invert the redstone signal from this and say, when hey, when this thing is full, you should, you should stop doing this dropper, but my issue is I need to invert the redstone signal because this thing only has a requires redstone and an always on function. So for now, I'm just gonna turn it off while I set up some other stuff. Here we have an empower. Um, this interface is providing the canola seeds from the farm and they're being shoved into the sides and the crystal or the um, whatever it's called, crystallized canola seeds are coming into the center here. It's empowering and sending into this drawer. Then what I need to do is I need to put these empowered canola seeds into crystallized oil. Crystallized oil is made by putting crystallized oil seeds in refined oil. Refined oil is made by putting a canola oil in a fractioning still, and this comes from a squeezer with canola. Fun thing, I have a squeezer over here. I'm not really using it, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I know this is used for the slates, but I, 
I'll build something else for the slates very soon. For now, I just want this to, I just want this to function. Okay, slightly more complicated here. I changed the automatic precision dropper, which I'm pulsing with a timer every 60 ticks. And then I'm comparing the fullness of this using a redstone block. So when this fills up, a signal will be sent through and it will stop this timer from functioning, which will stop canola seeds from functioning, which is pretty good. So we get to keep doing our thing over here and making these empowered canola seeds and uh, everything should be nice and good now. Like we're not gonna make these empowered canola seeds for forever. I'm going to need to siphon a little bit of these crystallized seeds, or sorry, I keep saying empowered. These are the crystallized ones. Siphon a little bit of these off to make the crystallized oil, but it shouldn't be that, that much. Okay, so now I'm over here making canola oil and the canola oil is being sent to this fluid placer. Now all I need to do is drop some crystallized canola seeds into uh, this and then suck it up, send it over to this fluid placer, suck it up, and then uh, mix it with the refined fuel. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This is probably one of the most disgusting things I've ever built, like just looking at it. I'm going to attempt to explain it to you and then I will copy it over here for the um, empowered oil, right? We Here we have crystallized oil. Hopefully this will fill up by the time I'm talking so we will see if the system fully works and turns everything off. Uh, I think I do need to check that box, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so what we have here is a timer set on a five second delay, which means every five seconds it sends a pulse to here and to here. The pulse gets sent over to here first, the precision dropper and the fluid placer. By powering this block, it is, oh no, I've just messed it up. Um, I need to, oh, I just accidentally like picked it up. Um, all right, so trash here. Let me just extract for a second. So hopefully, yeah, I've just completely ruined this. Pick this up and okay, let me reset my thoughts. As I was saying, um, the pulse gets sent to this automatic precision dropper. When this gets pulsed, this also gets pulsed because of the way blocks in Minecraft work. Um, but this gets, this works a lot faster than the dropper. So this places the oil this drops it into the world and then it falls. And then a couple of ticks later, the pulse finally runs through this line over here and ticks the fluid collector once the crystallized oil has been transformed. And then that gets sent into this fluid tank right here once this fluid tank fills up because I'm comparing to a level of 15, which uh, level 15 will be outputted when this thing is full. Uh, over into this redstone conduit here, which gets sent back into the timer, which turns it off once it's at, uh, you know, a full tank over there. Very, very disgusting looking. I could definitely make it more concise, but I haven't played Minecraft and I haven't played with redstone in a very long time. So you're just going to have to live with it. Uh, okay, I need to set up this side over here now so we can make the or um, empowered oil because it's literally just the exact same thing and obviously I don't want to make this stuff forever I want a very small like um like like source of it that I can use as I need to to make more nitrodiesel and to make more rocket fuel all right in some good news, I figured out how this is going to work, and uh, we're all pretty much set up. I have 32 buckets of empowered oil. We're not collecting any extra. We're kind of big chilling here. Things are backlogging. In sort of worse news, I'm losing my mind trying to figure out how to get any, anything to react this nitro diesel with. Because, like, uh, TBU doesn't exist. TBU fuel doesn't exist. I cannot figure out for the life of me how to get uranium-233. Um, it looks like we'll have to make a target chamber from Quantum Minecraft Dynamics. Um, I don't know how that works. So, yeah, like you can, there's, there's nothing in here that like separates into 233 that doesn't already require 233. There's not any depleted fuels in here. Decay Haitianers, I don't have this kind of stuff. I don't have a fission neutron irradiator. Like, this is insane. 
I can centrifuge it out of other things that contain 233 or depleted TBU fuel, but I can't get TBU fuel. Like, TBU fluoride? Okay. Uh, it needs to be the salt solution? Fine. Okay. Fine. Um, salt fission? Okay. Cool. Kind of sick. M mixing? TBU fluoride. All right. Cool. I can make the fluorine. TBU? Comes from TBU fluoride. Hmm. Comes from melting TBU. Okay, that, that seems like a good route, right? Uh, TBU. Um, T TBU nitride? Oh, but, but that requires TBU. Um, separating from other TBUs, but these require TBUs to make. This is just psychopathic to me. I don't understand it. It's so much work. The nuclear craft over or overhaul, or whatever the heck this is, insane. All of that to say, I'm gonna figure it out and I'll be back when I do. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. I've chilled out, I've got nice coffee, I've kind of accepted my fate in this pack, and it's time to do some nuclear engineering. And to do that, I need to actually make elite plating, which requires crystal binder, which requires calcium sulfite. I have everything else in here already. I just need calcium sulfite, which requires calcium sulfite solution, which requires sulfuric acid, which I already have, and fluorite water, which I can easily make. So let me go ahead and make some of this stuff. So I've uh, done a little bit of stuff since you last saw me. I have a boron arsenide setup, which is being sent over to here and being turned into boron arsenide. I also have um, some more machines like fluid infusers, a decay hastener. Uh, I'm also automatically making calcium sulfate now, just quite slowly. Um, because, wait, how did that get in there? This is supposed to be filtered. Uh, oh, that's really weird. It's all filtered properly. They might just technically like look the exact same to these ender fluid conduit filters. Um, I will make a note of this and come back and fix it later, but 35 calcium sulfates, uh, is just enough for now. Uh, anyways, what else do we have? This fluid enricher is turning crushed fluoride into fluoride water, and uh, we have a lot of that stuff already automated. What else happened? Um, I have everything here for a fission reactor. It is going to be the basic fission reactor. We should be able, it'll, it'll be this design. This is design provided to you by the um, quest book. So let me find a place to put this and then we'll build it. Okay, uh, I just launched a manual backup to make sure this doesn't absolutely destroy everything, but I think this is the fission reactor built. We have inputs and outputs for a lot of stuff. Actually, I don't understand what these irradiator stuffs are. Um, I don't know what's supposed to be input or output. Oh, is that what? Hold on. Beryllium, is this? Fission reactor moderator. No, I don't think it's supposed to go in. Um, Oh, okay. The irradiator ports is where we put our like inputs and outputs because this is technically like a machine that functions. So if I put one of these in here, it won't begin because I think it needs a runstone signal, but it has accepted the fuel. And now I'm going to need some wafers of some sort. Yep. I just need to place these in here. It accepts, I guess, four at a time because I have four of these irradiator thingies and uh oh i guess they can both be input or output but actually let me check can i why do i have so many chests <laughs> why would i ever have that many chests um does it auto output let's say let's say i do this and put it in there no but i guess that's like for piping purposes we shouldn't have any issues right now I should just be able to say, go in there and give this guy a redstone signal. I already have levers in my inventory. And I think if I just do that, maybe I need to apply it directly to the block. No, it actually says we're supposed to activate each fuel cell. So does this turn it on? It doesn't. Oh, no. Um. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Do I need this now? Huh. Actually, I realized what the issue was. Okay, 
we are not even close to overheating. Um, I only put, f I put four fuels in there and there are, or sorry, I put three fuels in there and there are four fuel cells. Each fuel cell apparently needs it. They cannot share them. And slowly it appears as though things are being produced. How much am I producing per tick of steam? Looks like it's about 48 millibuckets per tick. That's not terrible, actually. The energy density of the steam is actually really good. It's 256 RF per millibucket, so we could get quite a bit of, um, you know, RF out of this thing, but I think for now I'm just gonna trash the fluid. And as you can see, we've gotten our first in-type doped silicon which we will just shove in the assembler like that to make basic processors, which will be used to make various different things. Uh, I should actually put in a recipe for that, and we should craft a couple just to see what's next after that quest. Okay, so I've gotten my four basic processors. I've, you know, completed the quest and everything, and uh, I thought I would do this nuclear craft section and have an idea of where I was going. I really don't. I need to get some niobium from my ore leacher. This niobium comes from ore leaching uranium ore into uranium grit thorium and niobium. Um, I have all of these things, so we're, we're like able to do this, but I still don't see how that gets me to rocket fuel. Um, I have no access to TBU. I have no access to LEU. I, I don't understand. So, since I've got no idea how to make the rocket fuel, I'm going to put that off. I'm going to try and watch a couple of videos because I know there are a couple of playthroughs of this pack already. So I'll see how they did it and see if uh, I can get that to work in the next video. In this video, for the remainder of it, I'm going to upgrade my power production. And I think the way we do that is a fusion reactor. I think it's a fusion reactor um, from Mechanism. I've never made one before, but uh, maybe it's fission. Is it fission? Fission reactor uh, at mech fission. No, reactor. What is it? Oh, it's. I think it's technically fusion, but it doesn't ever like say fusion. So yeah, we want to make this reactor. Never mind. I literally can't. I need iridium alloy plates. Okay. Mark of the falling, whatever ritual. Is that what we're really going to do? I really don't want to do that. Okay. It's been a couple hours, but I am back. You know how like, you know how like in chess, when like you find a line, you find like a nice line that leads to checkmate. I found the cleanest line of all time to this rocket fuel all by myself, by the way, didn't look up anyone else's videos. Actually I did. Um, I couldn't find how to make rocket fuel in their videos. So I kind of had to do it on my own. Let me explain to you this process right here that involves all of these machines down here starting with this decay hastener so how we make tbu fuel i thought there wasn't a recipe for it you know i thought there just wasn't a recipe for this thing because like it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense how the heck do you get tbu fuel how do you get protractium enriched thorium dust i didn't explore this further you get protractium enriched thorium dust by irradiating some thorium and you know how you irradiate some thorium? You put it in a fission reactor. So I put some thorium in my fission reactor and uh, I irradiated the heck out of it. Got some TBU fuel. I made about a stack. Then over here, I started melting it down. There used to be TBU fuel in here. As you can see, there's a hopper with TBU fuel pellets because I don't have this stuff automated. I'm just gonna throw some in here whenever I need some rocket fuel. Um, and there's also one for beryllium over here. Anyways, um, melting down TBU fuel. We infuse it with some fluorine to get TBU fluoride. We send it into here to get some molten TBU fluoride. That reacts with the salt mixture, which is being made over here. Requires some beryllium to be melted down and then sent into fluorine as well. And then it also requires some liquid lithium, which we've been making in those guys over there for a very long time, as well as some more fluorine. You know, mix those together, get the fluorides, and then you get the salt mixture right here. And you see it's creating one right there, molten F-L-I-B-E salt mixture. That gets sent over to this fluid mixture right here that mixes the molten TBU fluoride with the salt mixture in order to make a little bit 
of the whatever the heck goes into this um the the really long named one that gets reacted with some nitro diesel which is being made over here in this chemical reactor with the empowered oil that we made earlier in the episode and the refined fuel that we made earlier in the episode um and that makes rocket fuel in this thing with the nitro diesel and the whatever the heck it's called now i should just be able to grab a bunch of rocket fuel right here put it into this fueling station oh that has crashed the game sick let's try that again you grab some buckets of rocket fuel you place them into the fueling station they get shoved into this guy i'm pretty sure i like unbuilt my rocket at some point so let me go ahead and build it again there we go um and i need my linker where's my linker we go ahead and right click on this thing um i already i already clicked on it so don't worry about that we link it with here and it should just shove the rocket fuel into there let me grab it a couple more buckets because it'll probably need more than just two to fill itself up but probably not too much more than two right like it probably doesn't use the entire fueling station for its purpose okay it's taking slightly more rocket fuel than i thought i might have to make some more tbu um i only made that singular batch so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to maybe you know wait overnight or something if this takes a ton jeez dude chill out how many it's like halfway oh my god so um i'm on the moon now some slight technical difficulties with you know everything uh as you can see I don't have a rocket anymore. I landed like right there where that waypoint is. That's why I placed the waypoint there. That's my like spawn point. Um, just to see if my rocket ever comes down. I don't think it is. I landed without one. Um, so that's unfortunate. There's a lot of fuel in that thing. Uh, I guess I'm, you know, slash homing way home. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I should just go in a cave and try and find some lithium because that's what I'm here for. Uh, I do want to set up a quarry eventually on the moon to get uh, a bunch of lithium. But for now, this should just be fine if I can, you know, find a cave. Well, I can't find any iridium, and apparently there's just, like, hardcore darkness on the moon for some reason, which is kind of obnoxious. It's pretty rare. I'm pretty sure it's rarer than diamonds, so I, I wouldn't have expected to see any yet. Well, I guess I would have expected to see some. I basically dug out an entire chunk. Um whatever i am going to probably head home make a new rocket make some teleporters and all that kind of stuff but i'll do that in between videos because why would you want to watch that and the next time we can come back and make iridium and like get towards the end of this pack so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did maybe leave a like or something i'll see you in the next one where we get way into this uh take care and uh bye bye